Hello you guys and welcome back to the Dofe channel. Let's go ahead and sit down for a minute and enjoy the breaks. So I hope you guys can see the breaks. Let me go ahead and get you a little bit closer because it's going to be hard to watch it from there. So if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. I'm going to give you a couple of seconds while I reroute the camera up closer. So uh, thank you guys so much for joining in. I literally have so many breaks and you guys have asked me what is the major difference between a break and a whole bar let me show you real quick how i feel about wax bars in general and then how i feel about uh, the bricks so this is pretty much what a brick looked like and this is pretty much what a whole this is the brick, this is the regular bar. Now, let me go ahead and see if I have one that is completely full and has not been used. I think this one is gonna be the one. So look at that. That is such a major difference, right? So subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment down below. You will be participating on the giveaway. You just gotta stay tuned. And as many more comments you make on different videos, the more entries you get. It's all for the U.S. only. I'm thirsty. So let's go ahead and dive in on the bricks. So for the bricks, I have Sunset Citrus. I'm going to start with this one by saying that it's brand new for me. Haven't haven't smelled it at all. So there's uh, some specific aromas that are on the brick that are not on the regular bar, wax bar. So just FYI. So this one... Sunkiss citrus before opening it up let me tell you that i think that this is gonna smell citrusy with a little bit of uh, cinnamon i haven't smelled it yet again it's full uh, for some reason i always think that major of the wax bars usually are infused with what you call it cinnamon so let's go ahead and dive in oh it smells really good actually it smells fresh with a little bit of a hint of orange, but more citrusy, like you can smell mango in it. I don't know, it's, it's super fresh. I would definitely recommend this if you like fresh scents. Now I have this ones on, now we are in California. It is hot, it is 80 degrees. Um, I usually have on my, how do you call this? My thermostat uh, in the 80s, 72s, so if it goes really, really low, like it goes back to 80, if it goes really, really hot, then it can go down to 72. So I really, really like this one and it's lasted. I mean, I haven't even opened it, but the, the scent, I'm excited to try it. I have not uh, burned it at all. Next up, we have the Sensi Brick. This is on sugar cooking. And I'm excited to have this one. Again, it's full. The reason why I have this one is because Damal says that every time he smells any type of baking wax bars or candles, he it always reminds me of me. Again, I'm Mexican, so I, I'm used, used, so used to eating pan or bread or sweet bread, uh, cookies and all that type of stuff. So he says that it reminds me of the those type of scents. This one smells delicious. It almost smells like cookies and cream. So I really like this one. I think this is going to be something for that I'm going to be saving for at the end of the summer. Almost, you know, going to autumn and then hitting almost uh, the end of the year, pretty much. So next up, I have this one. This is called Sweet Orange Pomander. This is more like an autumn-y scent. Um... As you can tell, I have used it. Now they say that one brick, it's the same amount of four regular wax bars. I don't know if that's true, but that's actually what I do. I literally grab one back, one, one of these ones, and I put it on to regular wax, wax warmer by Sensi, and it doesn't spill or anything, like it's, it's marbles. Now this one I've only used, what, four, four cubes? cubes this smells a lot like pumpkin with cinnamon so if you're a huge fan of pumpkin i think you're gonna love this one or if you're a 
a huge fan of cinnamon. But at the moment, we're taking a break of cinnamon. And I think that in this house, we're trying to use more of the cleaner scents. Uh, or even a little bit more fruity or, or fruity or citrusy. Uh, I, I do got to admit that I am leaning more on the cleaner side. So this is Johnny Appleseed. If you have never smelled Johnny Appleseed, this is, this is literally your best friend. Like, oh my gosh, like you have an idea. This smells so good. It smells really clean. Every time I smell this one, it reminds me of uh, an afternoon in Vegas, like when we used to live there. Um, I think that this is uh, something that it's ideal for anyone. Now, if you ask me, this is the scent that you want to have throughout your whole home. Uh, for this one, it's only, I feel like it's only for the kitchen. Like when you arrive, when you have a scent, that's that's the aroma. For this one, it all depends on you. I would definitely say only for your main like entrance and the kitchen. For this one, I think it's uh, a bathroom scent. Uh, I think definitely has that vibe of a bathroom. So I would agree that this is something that you want to try on just for the bathroom. And then last but not least, from the ones that I have here, uh, this is the coconut lemongrass. This smells so good. It smells like a lemon grass with a hint of coconut. It's so good, you guys. Like, I think this one is one that I'm finishing up so soon. And when I have small uh, warmers, like when I have plugins, I literally cut them in pieces so it lasts longer. And I think that out of all of them, I enjoy this one the most from the ones that I've burned that I can remember here. So I have uh, each of them, I think they retail for like $30. But if you subscribe to the Cincy Club, that's the only way that you can get them. Um, you can get them delivered every month, but you get 10% off. So that's pretty amazing. I know that a lot of times people may say, oh, it's not a lot. Well, guess what? It is. Because you get also one, for, one item for half off, and that's priceless. I have a mini, my mini basket here. Like, I literally have them in here. Um, so I have Blue Grotto. Blue Grotto, it's a very clean, watery scent where you're going to smell a lot more of a cleaning purposes. I feel like Blue Grotto, for me, it works better in diluted and the con from the concentrate version to a... just for cleaning purposes. But it doesn't do the justice when, it, when I'm warming it. It smells marvelous, but... It's not strong enough for me. I think this is a good bathroom scent, but I would definitely not recommend it for anybody who's looking to get something more like uh, stronger. Like this is definitely something on the basic level of aroma strength. So just FYI. And I have a little bit of water because you know what? I'm gay, I get thirsty. Now, we have blueberry cheesecake. Now, let me tell you, I, I want to warm the blueberry, the, this blueberry cheesecake with the cookies one, the one I mentioned before. I think that may, mainly because I've, I've been listening to so many YouTubers and influencers that they can mix and match and kind of like put half of this one in the other one. And I, I don't know, I think this is a very curious, I, I really am dying to, to try it. Now, if you like cupcakes, this definitely is more like a cupcake scent. It's more of a warmer. You can definitely have this one in your whole home, but for me personally, I think it's, you know, even though I usually burn them the same scent throughout the whole house, so that way we can get the whole vibe of what it actually feels and looks like um, and performs. So for me, I think this one, it's definitely recommended for somebody who's looking to get it. More of a bathroom scent. For sure. Next up, we have Pink Poinsettia. Pink Poinsettia. This is a very interesting one. Uh, now, you may say why it doesn't have any sense. When you go on the website that I'm going to link below, you'll definitely get to see all of the scents, the aromas, and, you know, like everything. So for Pink Poinsettia, this smells like a flower. If you know, if you've ever burned hibiscus water, like if you're Mexican and you know how Jamaica smells, this has a hint of it. 
has a very soft buy, but I, I don't think when I burned it, it was a strong contender. I think this is kind of like a little bit, but you know, it, it, you know, it's a hit or miss sometimes. Yeah, I, this is a book that I, I, I have I have burned it. Blueberry cheesecake, that one was a good one. Then we're gonna have a spice eggnog. So this one reminds me a little bit of in between Puerto Rican Coquito to um, Rompope from my Mexican culture. And I definitely gotta admit that this is more of a Christmas buy for me. It smells delicious, like you have no idea. It's a very strong contender. The aroma and the fragrance last longer, but I definitely think that this is an overall Christmas scent. Uh, I, I don't know why, don't ask me, but it's beautiful. And you can tell that I I've, I put a lot of loving on this one. Um, I actually, you know what, I lied. That was the last one, because I have another one of the same one. So I, I guess I, we like so much Coquito that we ended up ordering two. But I really, really appreciate it. Like, this is a full one. This is the one we've been using. And I personally enjoy it because I feel like if at some point I get tired of not whether deciding which bar to, like which regular bar to burn, like the next one I'm gonna burn. Right now, we had a Dumbo. Then we jump onto Aloha Citrus, uh, which is the one that I have. Dumbo was kind of a powdery scent and it wasn't my favorite. Just because I feel like when I put it into warm, I couldn't sense it. I couldn't smell it. I couldn't I, I couldn't recognize it. But as soon as I changed it up with Dumbo loved it, by the way. Dumbo is one of his top priorities in life. But this one, the one we have right now, Aloha Citrus, I love it. It's so good. Um I wish I would know which ar aromas are going out uh when we hit the summer and what's the next season? And Christmas? I don't remember. But, you know, the next season, I feel like if I would know which ones, I wish I would have enough time to just kind of burn them all the bars to kind of figure out which ones I like the best and which ones I don't. When you try the regular samples, if you have a consultant, if you have never had them, they usually come with a bag of all of the scents. Um, not the ones that are coming every month, but the most majority of them. So it's hard because you gotta kind of like grab the bar, like grab them in a circle. And and it's so funny because it smells really good. But when you grab it on the sample, you just kind of like grab it. You're just kind of like wondering, like, is, it, is this gonna work? But when you actually, let me see. Like this is very oily, like they're always oily for some reason. Um, But with this one specifically, the Hey Tiger Lily. This is so beautiful and it's, I really, really love it. I think that this is marvelous. But um, I forgot my point. Oh my gosh. Uh, anyways, we were doing Dumbo. I didn't like it, Dumbo loved it. Then I switched up to Aloha Citrus. I think I know what I was talking about. You know, the fact that I wish I would know which aromas and scents are going away and which ones are staying. So Aloha Citrus is definitely one that I really enjoy. Um, next up, I have Hey Tiger Lily, just because it was the first when I joined Sensi. This was the aroma that they had, and I wish I could have smelled it more. Um, so I ordered two of these ones. And then after that, I think I'm just going to go ahead and jump on to finish on one of those ones. Because I have so many, you guys. I have, like, you literally saw what I have. But yeah, that's about me. Um, you are welcome to our home. Thank you guys so much, as always, for all of the love and support. Please, please, please don't leave without subscribing. I would greatly appreciate it. Hit the bell button to stay notified. And leave us a comment down below. How did you guys find us? What do you? What kind of content do you want to see? Do you want to see more outgoing content? Do you want to see more skin? Maybe you want to see more makeup. Maybe you want to see more street these. I'm just joking. Now. That's not going to happen here. Probably maybe like when I work out more and how my lifestyle has changed into a more healthier status. Then probably, but not it's closer to striptease, but not striptease. Um, thank you guys so much for all of your love. I'm going to start rambling and I'll send you my best, best, best wishes. And I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy. Goodbye.